Good evening viewers and welcome to another episode of Hotspot. Thanks for joining us. I'm Skola Sengi, standing in for Mai Koime, who will be accompanying our under-20 women's soccer team to Auckland, New Zealand for the under-20 women's World Cup qualifiers. We wish her and our young ladies all the best and I'm sure she'll be updating us on the women's matches. Buckle up and sit tight, we've got a hot spotting lineup tonight and I hope you'll enjoy the show. Let's take a look at what we have coming up tonight. Kicking off the show, we take a look at the ITI Corporate Cricket, which kicked off its fourth week of competition last weekend. A first for cricket in Port Mosby and the corporate entities that the competition attracted. Then we take a look at an interview with Pacific in Union in-country manager Frank Genya and the Pacific in Union coordinator Silosi Druma about the status of the Pacific in Union program and its development around the country. So without further ado, corporate indoor cricket entered its fourth week of competition last weekend at the Amini Park in Port Moresby. The ITI-sponsored competition in its first year has attracted a lot of interest from private companies but were only given spots in the competition on a first-come, first-served basis. The competition also coincides with the Port Moresby Cricket Association competition. For most of us who couldn't resist the excitement of hitting a six over the fence or taking someone out on the full, Homemade stumps, a carved out bat from a piece of timber and a tennis ball wrapped up in tape is good enough to attract a crowd for backyard cricket. Indoor cricket, as the name suggests, is played indoors on a futsal pitch. We caught up with ITI Corporate Cricket Competition Organizer and Vice President of Port Mosby Cricket Association, Dean Ani. The comps are actually in the fourth week now. Um, we've got the, the men's competition, the mix, and basically it's a corporate, corporate uh, competition put together for the corporate companies, the employees and the, the spouses and the family actually to come together and uh, come and enjoy a game of indoor cricket, which is um, different from the outdoor playing in the field. It is actually playing in the, uh, the indoor nets. Um, the competition is sponsored by uh, ITI, the uh, International Training Institute. And we are um, thankful to our sponsor for sponsoring the, sponsor in the, uh, the indoor cricket comp, which is the corporate comp. So we've got two competitions running at the same time, the, the corporate comp and the bottom of the cricket uh, season team's um, competition as well, which is on Sundays at every four. We've got about uh, 11 mixed teams and 14 men's teams um, running on Saturdays and Sundays. So Saturday it starts at 2 o'clock with the mix and finish it off with the, the men's comp at 4 o'clock, so that's for the corporate. Then Sunday we have the men starting off at 12 o'clock, followed by the mix at 2 and then we got the season, the pond cricket comp, uh, which has six teams in it. They go for, um, start at 4 o'clock, that's why every Sunday. So, basically in the four, four weeks now, we're looking at the, the mixed teams competition running until end of March, together with the, the men's as well. So hopefully we should have the finals at the end of March. Then we start off with the T20 um, for the home cricket um, in April. Unfortunately, we would have liked to have this running a long time ago, but because of the facilities, um, we thank the Cricket PNG, um, who um, put together this uh, multi-indoor um, facility together with the houses um, playing indoor soccer has been playing here, um, indoor hockey and this is the first um, properly um, run indoor cricket competition now. Uh, I think previous years used to be played elsewhere, I think at Holiday or something. Um, but this is the, the first ever the proper, properly run competition we in the, the international indoor cricket rules. Um, the association has got our own um, playing rules put together for the competition. Um, basically for the corporate comp and we've got a very good support from all the corporate bodies. We'd like to accommodate plenty of um, teams which we had to cut down, first come, first serve. So we've got about 18 to 19 um, corporate companies that come together to fill it in the mix and the um, men's competition. So we can see here that since um, three weeks ago, it's been full on um, after the rains have um, gone away. So we're um, having the comp full on now with everyone coming by. And, Good to see everyone in the uniforms and the corporate uh, attire, and it's, it's good um, uh, marketing also for for the companies and also part of not um, social um, getting for the families and the and the employees um, spouses coming together and part of um, networking with together with the other corporate companies. So basically, everyone coming and having fun. It's pretty really good, good out here, and we're getting a lot of good support from everyone uh, who have come by. The competition consists of 14 men's teams and 11 mixed teams and is expected to end next month. 
The concept of bringing employers to strengthen networks, the competition allows for spouses and families to socialize. I'm sure with the cricket season at its peak, most of you have been playing a lot of backyard cricket and have taken out a few wickets. If you have nothing to do this weekend and like to catch some cricket action, head on down to a mini park in Port Mosby after 2 p.m. on Saturdays and Sundays. We'll now go for our first break for tonight, and when we return, for you rugby fans, we take a look at an interview with the Pacific in Union program. Welcome back to the show. We were lucky enough to drop by at the PNG Football Rugby Union headquarters in Port Mosby and caught up with Frank Genya, Pacific in Union in-country manager and coordinator Silosi Druma. The rugby development program has been successful in Port Mosby and has sparked an interest among school-aged children and young girls. Rugby Union as a football code has come a long way in its development. For the first time last year, we saw a school rugby competition that kicked off in Port Mosby. Our female rugby union team, the Palais, have climbed up rankings swiftly and is hopeful in the National Provincial Championships come March. Pacific in Union in-country manager Frank Genya on the Pacific in Union program. Okay, the Pacific in uh, Union program is a curriculum based program. Uh, it's AUSAID funded, uh, given to the ARU, the Australian Rugby Union has been given the uh, responsibility of uh, you know, implementing this through our Papua New Guinea with obviously the support of PNGRFU. Um, uh, Port Moresby successfully piloted uh, this program last year. Um, PNGRFU are now looking to expand that this PIU program throughout uh, regional Papua New Guinea. Uh, we made our first visit just um, at the end of January up to East New Britain, Rabaul. Um, eight schools uh, were organised to uh, begin this program up, up, up there and um, they'll be starting the program in the next few weeks and uh, basically what the program is about is as I said before it's, it's a curriculum based program um, it's done within class time and it teaches our kids uh, you know, values such as discipline uh, respect um, and you know healthy living you know amongst others um, you know the best part about this program is as I said it's, it's, it's done during class time and um, you know we, not only that, we get, to teach, we get to teach our kids how to play footy, how to pass a ball, make a tackle, that sort of thing. Um, but yeah, that's that's pretty much what the program's all about in a nutshell. How many schools do we have right here? Uh, as I said, Moresby last year was successful with the, um, the program. They had eight schools, if I recall, um, yeah, participate in that program. In Rabaul, we've got eight schools, as I mentioned. Uh, Goroka, we've got four proposed schools. Booker's already underway as well, with I think eight as well. Um, and Lay. Pacific and Union coordinator Silosi Druma on the status of rugby union's development in the country. This year it will be the first time that the women's uh, sevens championship will be held in Mosby on the first and second of March. That's because of the interest uh, uh, from the schools that are taking part in the KU program already. Uh, this year we'll have Port Mosby taking part, the under 15, under 19, and so as the autonomous region of Bougainville, they'll be sending the under 15 and under 19. Uh, that will be included in the open women category. Uh, from that uh, tournament, we will select the national team that will be taking part in the Hong Kong Sevens at the end of the match. So, you know, we're already seeing the benefit of uh, having this pay you program. Uh, a lot of children are taking part in the code and there are a lot of interest from the other provincial unions that are are also interested to take up the PEU program. Uh, as Frank mentioned earlier on, we're rolling out the PEU program in Rabaul. Uh, we start off in Rabaul LLG first before we move on to Bokopo. So that's something we look forward to uh, at the end of this month. The program proved successful in Port Mosby and has attracted interest from Rabaul, Buka, Goroka and Leigh. PNG RFU delivered rugby balls, training bibs, cones, whistles and medical kits as well as classroom materials and training manuals for students and teachers to conduct lessons and practice sessions to eight nominated schools in Rabaul, East New Britain this week. The PIU program promotes gender equity and values such as respect, discipline and integrity, thus their theme of play rugby, live healthy. to 
have you back. The annual SP Sports Awards was launched today by the Minister for Sports, Honorable Justin Chichenko, and General Manager for SP Brewery, Stan Joyce, at the Brook Kettle in Port Mosby today. Also at the launching was 2013 Sportsman of the Year, Asad Vala. We are here at the launch of the 2014 SP Sports Awards, PNG's Premier Awards Night. It recognizes the achievements and efforts of all sportsmen, women, and administrators here in the country. Attended by members of the PNG Sports Federation as well as the Pacific Games Committee, the launch kick-started nominations for the 2014 awards, which will be held on the 31st of March. Key sponsors of the awards were also present, including management from MTV. Stan Joyce, managing director of SP Brewery, was grateful that SP had been sponsoring the event now in its 22nd year. This actually kicks off the 22nd uh, SP Sports Award. 22 years consecutively without fail, we've come together every year to recognise our elite athletes. I think we can put our hands together and congratulate them. I think the continuity of these uh, sports awards is due to the partnerships that we've had, the sporting associations, uh, and in particular with our friends from the media, and it's wonderful to see you all here in full force this afternoon. Thank you very much for being here, and thank you for your coverage. It's one of the things we've been able to do is actually include an award in this form of media coverage, uh, because without the media, uh, sports just is not the same. Uh, People rely on you to get the information across. They rely on you to interpret a lot of things that are happening. And I think that the skill base that we apply to doing that in Papua New Guinea is growing, and it's a skill base that we would encourage to continue to grow. Thank you very much. Uh, we at the moment, just a little bit off track here, but I think it's appropriate that we acknowledge the fantastic result of our SP Hunters team in Brisbane last weekend. Absolutely. That's a fantastic <laughs> The team they beat was the runner-up in the Cup last year and I was even more impressed to see that you know, we played overseas and we won, that's always good to be able to account for, but secondly during the game we were tested, eh? we were behind there for a while, we were in front, we went behind and we came back. And what I'm pleased to see and recognise that the tenacity that's been missing, that will to win at, at uh, all times is there and it's a fantastic opportunity. Um, I will confirm the rumour that I bought a place in Redcliffe, uh, which is close to one of the ovals where they'll be playing down there. Um, but we also, of course, have houses all over Papua New Guinea, and in the Kokopo in particular. So I look forward to everyone supporting that endeavour. Thank you very much. Had to have a plug for that. Um, 22 years of the Sports Award. This year we'll be allocating 43,000 Kina to... Um, to the various prize groupings for people. That's important that we recognise our elite athletes. Sport Minister Justin Chichenko was also on hand and emphasised the importance of the awards in recognising the contributions of hard-working individuals in sport. Thank you and uh, it's a pleasure to be here once again uh, to officially launch off the SP Sports Awards for the uh, 22nd time. So it's a uh, a great legacy that SP and uh, everybody's doing to recognise our sporting talents and abilities uh, and champions of uh, Papua New Guinea. And uh, this couldn't happen, of course, without uh, SP Brewery and their sponsorship and all the other people that come on board and sponsor the SP Sports Awards. So let's give a big round of applause to all the sponsors and especially uh, Stan Choice, who always stands up uh, as the champion. Uh, when it comes to helping uh, sport. With the SP uh, Hunters, we're looking forward to many, many more wins and I'll be uh, travelling down to Redcliffe to uh, see the first actual game for point scoring. So I hope we don't give it the jinx, but um, we'll be there to barrack them all on and have a look at uh, some other things with the Lord Mayor of um, uh, the sunny coast, Gold Coast. Asad Vala, member of PNG's Valiant Barramundis, had a quieter speech but still reiterated its importance, as well as his appreciation had been recognized as being 2013's winner. Um, the sports, SP Sports Award was a special event for those involved in the sport in. I'm sure I speak for my fellow athletes and the other members of the sporting community when I say that um, 
SP Sports Awards are truly appreciated. And so I would like to encourage um, everyone out there to nominate now. Nominate the sporting, the sporting special personalities you think deserve to win the 14 awards or find this um, SP Awards. A total of 14 categories have nominations, including the Community Sports Initiative Award, Technical Official of the Year, and of course, the Sportsman, Woman, and Team of the Year. It's gonna be a busy weekend for everyone. That's all we got for Hotspot tonight. Remember to tune in to Sports Scene on Monday for more sporting action and results over the weekend. Telecom NSL kicks off round two in Port Moresby. We see the Eastern Stars FC take on RFC and in the main game, Hekari meet the new boys Admiral TFC. And in Ley, Besta FC coming off the first bye of the season takes on Ley FC at the St. Ignatius Kilagi Stadium while big winners Gigera Leiter for Morabe are on a bye. Capital Rugby Union in Port Moresby enters its third week of competition at the Monia Rugby Park on Saturday. Last weekend we saw the SLS Cowboys go down fighting in the cup finals against the boys from Arma Coast. This week we see them take on last year's premiers Harlequins and Connie Sharks. Port Moresby men's and women's softball will commence another week at the Diamonds. The under-16s will also kick off the competition this weekend. At the Rita Flynn Courts on Sunday we see the ladies in red Flame take on the stationary specialist Theodist in Division 1 and Daytech go up against minor premiers ProClean in the Premier Division. With a week off, the Baroka Offseason League will see the eight teams vying for a spot in the finals on Sunday at the Unagi Oval. A big shout out to the young Pukpuks and Palais in Plas Radars who received their footy equipment this week. I'm sure you're all excited to get on the pitch and put your footy skills to test. You can check us out and like our page on Facebook. Until next Thursday night, I'll see you right here on Hotspot.